Hello and welcome to another episode on our channel. Thank you very much for everyone who subscribed to our channel as your support really does encourage us to keep creating more and more useful videos. In case you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. In this video, we're going to talk about a major technical fault that many users on Windows encounter on their desktops and laptops, and that is HDMI port isn't working issue on your Windows. To be honest, several factors can trigger this error, and we're going to share some of the most effective ways so that you can fix it and so that you can connect different peripherals to your computer without any hassle. Before we answer why your HDMI port isn't working, first, let me tell you about what is HDMI if you're not familiar with it. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. It is a crucial hardware component that allows users to connect a wide range of output devices to their computer. Today, the HDMI port comes as standard on most PCs and laptops. Using this HDMI port, you can connect to your PC to an external monitor, projector, TV, etc. through the right HDMI cable. Unfortunately, there are many cases where the HDMI port stops working and users either start receiving a distorted image or no image to their peripheral. And also, you may not even get sound out of your HDMI output. This can happen due to a number of reasons, which can include both hardware and software issues. To to fix the problem of the HDMI port not working on your Windows PC, you'll need to first diagnose the problem and then choose a suitable solution accordingly. So let's quickly dive into the different working solutions that will help you fix the HDMI port isn't working issue. Before starting with any complex solution, it's worth checking the HDMI cable connection first. In many cases, loose cable connections and faulty HDMI cables are the main reasons why HDMI stops working. So start by checking your HDMI cables and look for any signs of wear and tear. In case of physical damage, you'll have to buy a new HDMI cable to establish a successful connection. However, if the cable isn't physically damaged, unplug it from your PC and wait for a few minutes, then reconnect the HDMI cable and see if you start receiving a video output on the external monitor or not. If you're still dealing with the same issue, then move on to the next solutions we're about to talk about. Windows comes with a pre-installed hardware and devices troubleshooter that will help you resolve different hardware related issues, including this issue. It's a pretty useful feature in Windows 10 as the troubleshooter will automatically detect and solve the specific hardware issue. All you have to do is follow a few steps to launch the troubleshooter and let it do its job. Open up the command prompt through Cortana. In the search box at the bottom, type CMD, then right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. A new window will appear. Type in this line and then hit enter. A new window will appear for the troubleshooter, hardware and devices. Click next and allow the program to diagnose and troubleshoot any issues that you have. The troubleshooter will automatically start detecting the hardware related issue and provide you with a specific solution. You'll just have to follow the on-screen instructions to fix the HDMI port. If the Windows 10 troubleshooter fails to fix the issue, there's a high probability that you'll need to adjust the display settings on your PC. While using two different displays, it is important to change a few display settings so that they match your specific requirements and help you get the desired output out of your external monitor. Follow the steps to change the HDMI display settings to deal with the HDMI port isn't working on PC. Press the Windows key and P together to launch the display settings menu. Here you'll see four different options. PC screen only, this will only use the first display. Duplicate, which will duplicate the content on both displays. Extend, this will stretch the entire screen content on both displays. And then second screen only, this will show content only on the second screen. Choose the right settings as per your requirement. Seeing as you want to display content on the second display, you will have to choose one of the last three options. Finally, if none of the previous solutions worked for you, the last option would be to update the graphics driver on your PC. 
As mentioned earlier, the HDMI port may also stop working due to a software related issue, i.e. an outdated graphics driver. Believe it or not, outdated drivers are a common cause of several Windows related issues and this is one of them. So update the graphics driver on your PC and check if the HDMI connection starts working or not. At the same time, press Windows and X and click Device Manager. Expand the Display Drivers option. Now right click your primary drivers and click Update Drivers. Now choose search automatically for drivers if you want to download drivers from the internet. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the downloading process. Once the graphics driver has successfully been updated, restart your PC and try the HDMI connection again. If none of the mentioned solutions work for you, try to check if your HDMI device is set as the default or not. In fact, most of the time your HDMI device won't work if it's not set as the default device on your Windows system. This could be the reason why you might not be getting sound playing through the HDMI. Thus, you will need to set the HDMI device you want to use it as the default device. This is what you need to do. Right click the volume icon and choose open sound settings. Now tap sound control panel. Opt for the desired playback device under playback tab and hit hit the set default button. That's how you can fix the HDMI not working issue on your Windows 10 machine. Keep in mind that if none of these solutions work to fix the issue, the HDMI port on your PC might be broken. In this case, you'll have to get it repaired by a professional. So if you found today's video helpful, then please make sure that you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to see more videos in the future, then all that you have to do is hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell as well. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.